YouTube, YouTube of viewers, I, I just came on here to tell you that I faced one of my biggest fears. You see, I have seizures, and there have been countless nights when I've woke up at midnight, 1, 2, or 3 a.m. There have been a few times, but there have been a few. There have been a few times, but not many, where I have s stayed awake for 24 hours. Well, listen, in the past, my mom has told me whenever I wake up like that and I can't sleep, she, she said it would be perfectly all right for me to go and get her up to give me some more sleep medicine because, you see... Lack of sleep causes seizures, even though I prefer seizures over football. But but YouTube viewers, ever since I ever since ever since I've been having seizures several years ago now, I've been afraid to go ask my mom to get me some more sleep medicine in the middle of the night, because you see. My mom is married to this wonderful guy, Jason was short. I've always been afraid of waking him up. That is the only problem I have with my mom being married. I have nothing against him whatsoever. I have nothing against his kids or his mother whatsoever. But in the middle of the night, I don't want to wake him up. And plus, and plus, sometimes the middle of the night has been the only time of the day I've gotten privacy without people calling and texting and saying, How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, well, YouTube of viewers, it is it is between 3 and 3.30 a.m. And I've been up since, too. But just, but just before I made this video, I went in, in, I went right next to the door of my mom's room, and I and I and I said, "Mom, please get up and give me some more sleep medicine." And even though I was a little worried about waking Jason up, I wasn't near as worried or concerned as I used to be. And and right after she gave me my pill, I said, "Mom, two more." things. I don't need any medicine for my looks because I'm the best looking man on earth. And I also and I also told her, Mom, if I woke Jason up, please tell him I'm sorry. So YouTube of viewers, I'm just here to tell you the Lord will help you in your fears because First Timothy 1 says, For God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Isaiah, Isaiah 41 tells us how much the Lord does not want us to be afraid. And, and Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. First, First Thessalonians five says, "Pray without ceasing." First John four says, "Perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment." He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Well, since well, since First Thessalonians five says, "Pray without ceasing," you need to know that John fourteen is where. Jesus tells us, Ask and you shall receive. And that same chapter also tells us that, that Jesus says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Well, John 15 tells us, If we do whatsoever he commands us, we are his friends. So YouTube viewers, 
I recommend picking out one, two, three, or four hours every day, and and just and just spend that time to God. I mean, I meant to say, spend spend that time with God for the main purpose of getting closer to Him. I meant to say, spend that time with God so you can get closer to Him. But I do recommend spending a half an hour, 45 minutes, or even, or no more than one hour just asking the Lord to help you end your fears. Because James chapter 1 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth to all men liberally, as long as you ask in faith. Well, Romans 10 tells us that we get that we get faith the more we read the Bible. The more we read the Bible, the more faith we will get. Hebrews 11 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 also tells us that the Lord is a rewarder to those who diligently seek Him. Well, James 4 tells us if we get close to God, He will get close to us. And since 1 Thessalonians 5 says pray without ceasing because of Hebrews 11 and James 4 and also because of Romans 10 and John 14, if we do not pick time out for God every day, we are making a horrible decision or a wrong decision or a combination of a bad and wrong decision. A combination of those two. YouTube viewers, Matthew chapter 6 says, When you pray, enter into your closet. That is that is the KJV version. But, but when I had the New Living Translation Bible on DVD, Matthew 6 says, when you pray, go away by yourself. Pardon me if I burp. But, but the NLT Bible says, When you pray, go away by yourself and pray to your Father secretly. Well, YouTube uh, viewers, Philippians 4, 18 or 19 says my god shall supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory psalm 138 says the lord will perfect that which concerneth us titus 1 the lord does not lie malachi 3 the lord does not change so if you are worried or concerned about anything as long as you can avoid discourage and prevent interruptions because of Matthew 6 and James 4 and Romans 10 and Hebrews 11, if you are able to avoid discourage and prevent interruptions, if we are not spending at least one hour or 45 minutes or 30 minutes with God, you and I are wasting our time. Because of Matthew 6 and my own personal experiences with interruptions, I cannot tell you how darn important it is to talk to God just to get closer to Him. Not only about your concerns, we need to spend time with God just to have a close relationship, just to have a close relationship with Him. But I am here to tell you. He will help you with your fears. He will help you with your worries. He will help you with your concerns. He will help you with your problems. For the last for the last week or two, maybe a month or longer, I have been spending every day between 3 and 6 p.m. alone with God. I have told my family and everyone I know, if you try to call or text me or contact me between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., I won't be answering any calls, texts, or messages. YouTube, YouTube viewers, 
If you will give God the time that he deserves with you, he will help you. But I'm not saying to spend time with God only so he will end your fears. I am saying it, I am telling you this to tell you, spend time with God to have a closer relationship with him. Number one reason, and also, and also, the Lord will help you in your fears if you spend your time with him between one hour to three or four hours each day. He will end your fears with you. He will end every fear you have for you. The purpose of this video is to help you end your fears and to help you get a closer relationship with God. If this video has helped you, if you're able to leave a comment, please let me know in the comments. But if you're not able to leave, but if you are never able to leave a comment in any of my videos, I want you to know that is always by pure accident. But if you can leave a comment or if you cannot, please like, share, and subscribe. But if you are able, to, but if you are able to leave a comment, please let me know if this helped you and how much. On a, a scale of one to ten, if this helped you, I am so glad it did. Have a wonderful day if you're watching this during the day. Have a wonderful night if you're watching this at night. I'll I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.